Hello everyone, it's Tana back with another Rabbit Hole Designs video. Today we're working with the Sweet Christmas stamp set. Um, I did work on a few things in this video that you'll see them in the next video. We're going to concentrate on one card because it took a little bit more time than I anticipated. And while you're watching me stamp out those sweet little cupcakes, I'm going to let you guys know that all the Christmas stamps and their coordinating dies are in the shop right now at 30% off. So you want to make sure you get a chance at picking those up. And I started with a background here. I wasn't sure. I kept going back and forth. I didn't know if I wanted to use my Yuli color, watercolors, the Gonzai Tambay, Tambi, Tambay. Um, I have the Tim Holtz Distress watercolor uh, pencils now just so much to choose from. But I went with the Ganze Tambi for these, for the background. And I just went in and I tried to make my uh, candy canes as different as possible. So some of them there's white showing, some of them there, not, there isn't, but I wanted them all in the classic green and red. Some of them have thin red lines on the white, some of them had th thin green lines on, along the white just things like that but I made sure that all the bows were red. I did go in and try to add a little bit of shading to the insides of the bows. Now after that was all done and dry, oh looks I forgot to add a little bit more to do there. I do love that light green and the thin red stripes on the candy cane though. I think that one is my favorite. Now we're done. Now I've moved on to using the Tim Holtz watercolor uh, pencils. At first I thought maybe I would just scribble on the glass. What I ended up doing the most is just taking the color right from the tip of the pencil itself. That just seemed the easiest for me. And I did the same thing. When I went in with my base coat for the most part, I went in after it was dry and added some shading. I did even try at one point to shave off with a pencil sharpener some color. Now that worked really well, but I felt like I wasted a lot of that and I didn't want to. So I guess that's, that's a technique to use maybe when you need more color and pigment. I did end up using a piece of card, watercolor cardstock to uh, like kind of ink smush and pick up the rest of that color so it didn't go to waste. Um, as you can tell, I do have another cold, another one yet again, which got me to thinking about my Christmas series this year. I'm not sure what kind of Christmas series it will be. It might not be a series, it might just be a few videos. Until I can get my health back to where it needs to be, I just don't think it's feasible to expect that I'll come out with more than a few videos for Christmas. I want to. You know, Christmas is my favorite time of the year, but I don't think I'll be able to, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I wanted to make sure I let all of you guys know, though. I do think that the um, peacock feather icing, my favorite color icing thus far. I went with more of a sweet candy shop classic Christmas color feel on this card with a vanilla cake and we went with the kind of teal and light light red dark pink kind of colors and on the opposite was the classic Christmas colors with a dark chocolate cupcake. I even go along and paint that little gingerbread house so like I said two of the one of the cupcakes in the house you will see in my next video at the end of the month so I didn't I didn't quite finish uh, watercoloring those two those other two so I got quite a lot going on here and I have to say it's this time of year and all the sickness I really miss the beach I want everybody to comment down below 
what their favorite vacation dream is or a favorite dream this time of year when you're in the cold weather and you don't like it or in your, or if you're in the warm weather and you wish you were in the cold weather let me know down below so now we're going with picked raspberry that's my uh, pink to add into that red and teal and just that that kitsch from lingo out of the three sets that are available right now for the uh, the Distress watercolor pencils, Picked Raspberry was kind of the most, the closest, I should say, to the pink I needed for the color combination. So now I have everything all done and dried out on that one. And this is when I realized I was running out of time. So I'm saving the other two images for the video later this month. And now we're going to take those same colors that we used in the cupcake, plus this bluish gold from Gonzi Tambi, and we're going to make just some watercolor stripes on this uh, Stonehenge Hot Press watercolor cardstock. And then I'm going to add water to them and make them as solid as I can, because I want to create some simple stripes behind my cupcake on my card front, and kind of go for a clean and simple look or well, clean and simple for me anyway so that's what we're doing here I think the hardest was the gold to work with because in one light one turn of the light it's all pretty and bluish gold in the next turn of the light it looks like you didn't color the card cards cover the card stock adequately so it was a little tough there for a little bit After I get all these done, I'll set them aside to dry. I wish I would have given myself just a little bit more color on each one so I could cut out. I think I managed to cut three strips out of each color and I think two quarter inch strips and one half inch strip. Yes. And I would have liked more to play with in case I decided to do something with one of the other images, something similar. But it is what it is. I could always do more, but I won't. If it requires me to do more, then I'd rather just come up with a different background. Whenever you're cutting strips, it always gets down to the wire there at the end. Okay, so I decided at this point that I'm going to put my sentiment on my card front first. And I'm going with Christmas calories don't count. So I'm going to stamp that out, make sure it's nice and straight, and I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink for this. And I brought out my Christmas stamping bug, because it's that time of year. And now I'm going to start adhering my strips. I have the ruler there just so I start off in the placement that I want. Sorry for my head there. And I did play around with placement for a little bit before I decided to stick with it. And I decided that the red was going to skip an appearance this time around because I added the gold. So I just liked the way the gold looked better. And I did consider alternating the pink and gold stripes and instead decided to go with both gold in the center working our way up from there. We're going to get these all adhered, and then we're going to just give it a couple seconds under that sheer, kind, sheer hand me kindness block to uh, adhere properly and dry. And then we'll flip it over and trim all the excess off of the card panel. Then we'll use our uh, glue press and add some glue to the back of that panel. New Foot Deluxe Adhesive. And now I'm going to add it to my top folding A2 white card base. After that's dry, I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of my cupcake. And center it right in the middle of those stripes. Then I pulled out my Jelly Roll size 10 pen again because I missed a couple dots on the cupcake. And that's it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to keep up with us on Facebook and on Instagram and be aware of all the new daily inspiration put out there for you guys to view. And have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays!
Bye-bye for now.